Everybody loves Raymond. Pilot. Ray, still out town covering the Yankees? Yeah, I know. Been gone for four days. He's 16 minutes late. Daddy, hey. Grab that, Ray. All right. Where's my present? Get off there. Get, get down. Come on. Hit more. Matthews wants more. Now we've got to clean up all two. Here we go. I'll get it. Gregory's done. And Matthew's done. And Annie's done. Cookie, cookie, and cookie. Hey, honey. Hi. Hi, I'm Ray. I live here in Long Island with my wife, Deborah, my five-year-old daughter, and twin, almost two-year-old boys. My parents live across the street. That's right. Truth is, I do anything for my family. I'm done. Oh, no. Debbie, honey. Someone called me. F- well, my f- I'm hyperventilating. I don't know how I survived four days by myself. I know. Nobody hates going to the road more than me. It's miserable for me out there. Yeah, look at this. Carl winking side of my hat. That's great. Look at this. Greggy spattered my shirt. I'm not trading. Okay. Be happy with you. You're home for my birthday. That's all I can say. What? Of course I'm home for your birthday. Are you kidding? Your birthday's Sunday. That's right. Big party. How old am I going to be? I know that. You are how old? All right. I just have to backtrack. Let's see. When I proposed you were 23, you said no. Right. I proposed you when you were 24. Yeah, again. Right. I took a year off to regroup, yeah. I came back with a job, room, married. Then we make that would make you all right. I accept that. Good, because big party. You know what? I don't want the party. I just want a nice day at home with my favourite husband, my kids. Okay, okay. I guess my parents are brother too, right? My parents are my brother? What, Ray? Is this just what that? It's just that, look, you know, I love them. In my family too, but I'm just wondering. Perhaps we wouldn't wouldn't have them any uh, them over on Sunday. Why not? It's just honey. Every day that you were gone, they dropped by. And your dad is always waking up the kids. Now they, they don't even they don't know they don't even call first. They live across the street. Why should they call? It's quicker just to come by. I know. It's like we're on the if if like we're on the way. No, we're on the way. We were, we were. Where are we? Were they're going? You see, you're exaggerating a little. You're home. Hi, hum, um, hi. I saw your car pull up before. You didn't call. Hi, Deborah. I bought you some baking soda for your fridge. I smelled something questionable. From across the street? No, when I was here yesterday. It's worse. Come on. Okay, it's all right, Ma. Listen, we can buy your own baking soda. I know, sweetie, but you don't. What have you here? I'll get you some club soda for that too. What are we here? No, Ma, we have club soda. No, your father finished it. I'll see you later. He comes from, from love. You want me? I'll talk to my father about it. While well, you're talking to him, would you mind mentioning the answer machine? Is he playing? He's playing back the messages again. I, I changed the code. He cracked it. Hope everyone's gonna doing good. Deborah, you ought to call Linda back. She sounds like she's had a very interesting visit to Jaro. That's funny. You know, not for everyone. Roddy, okay. He's fooling around. That's what he does. He likes, he's like one of those guys. What do you call him? An idiot. What do you, why do they have, why do they have to bring your brother over? My brother lives with them. He doesn't like staying alone. He's faulty, Ray. Come on, he loves the kids. He's just like the way Robert eats, you know, where he has to touch every bite on his chin before he puts his, ma- his mouth. That's weird. That's his intricacy. It's like, he's, it's like when he's counting, he gets to 12, he has to get, take his shoes off. Everybody has those. How did he ever become a police sergeant? Because he's a good cop. It didn't make him count or eat. I don't know, Ray. Just that it's every day, and between them and the kids, I feel just feel lucky. I'm home now. Maybe you need a break. Why don't you go out with Linda tomorrow? Leave the kids with your parents. No, I go. To, I do the kids. I can't do that. How about the time you went to your aunt's for three days? I took the kids with me. Yeah, but I fed myself. All right. There's this, which one's Gregory? That one. Yeah, that's what this one's Matthew. You sure about that? All right. Now we shuffle them. Come on, then, over here. Let me turn him like this. Give him a flippery flu. Over here. He comes back over here. Keep your eye on him, okay? 
Well, who's Gregory? Come on, it's easy. Where's Ron's Gregory? Don't tell your mother about this. Hello, come on. Hey, Sport. How are you going? Ray, welcome back, man. What's going on? Look at this. I've been working on this. I found a way where I can exercise and watch these guys at the same time. They're twin flies. You know what's great about this? Every week their weight naturally increases. Come on, keep it down, Leo. I just got to them to sleep, I'm sorry. Want to go to Nemo's? Go to Slice? Leo's, my kids aren't fish. I just You can't just sprinkle food over them crib and leave. Call your mother, I can't. Deborah's got this thing about them coming over too much lately. I've got a club soda. Oh, hey, Leo. Hey, Miss B. How are you doing? Would you mind sitting with the kids while Ray and I went out and get some pizza? Not at all. Oh, where's Deborah? She's out, went to the movies, Linda. The movies, yes. Some people get to live it up. Some guys go ahead. Go, get your own pizza. You deserve it. You're rock, Miss B. Come on, let's go. No, Deborah doesn't want me to leave them, leave without them. You're leaving with them with me. You're slave sleeping. Go with your friend. I want to, but I can't. You're worried. You're concerned. We're all crying buckets here. Let's go. It's 8.30. It's, we could be gone one hour. Would you go? Come on. You're assaulting me. I raised you, didn't I? Oh, God, you raised me. Oh, Frank, Robbie, you scared me. You don't, didn't leave me a note. Just You just left. Leave. We're looking all over you for you. Where did you look? You thought we'd start here. Where well, the kids? Oh, no, now they're sleeping. I just want to see them. Come on, it's early. I just want to see the kids. They can sleep when we go. No. You want to see something? A hundred pound, twenty of a seat for a good secret. Holy crap. That's for her. What the hell is the bus here? Bus here? Bus here? Where did you get this? It's a wolf for your brother. Got his sports column. Never ends for Raymond. Poor Robbie. Everybody loves Raymond. I go to work to shoot. People shoot at me. Ray goes to work. People go to the wave. He sits down. has a hot dog. Doodles on a piece of paper. Then gives give, they give him a trophy. I think that Raymond's wasting his life writing sports. I mean writers to be writing short stories and poetry. You think I'm wasting my life? It's different for you, for you dear. Yes, look who's up. Oh no, Ray. You want to watch the game? You want you want to watch the game? You know, what are you doing, everybody? Deborah's gonna be okay. I'm gonna ask you quickly and quietly. Go to your nearest exits. It's fourth quarter. Dad, please, buckle up and go. And if somebody does you a favour, you're supposed to say thank you. Thank you, Mum and Dad. You're wonderful parents. They're not all, not evil at all. Let me just smell those heads once more. Dad, please, it's fountain of youth. I'm sucking that fountain, that, in that youth. I'm begging you, Dad. Let's go their heads. I won't, I won't give you money. You want the money? Save your money. You're going to need it. Victoria's not a secret anymore. We're going to see you on Sunday at Deborah's party, okay? Thanks again, Ma. Nice trophy. I was just checking the kids. Great. Still sleeping like lugs. Oh, my gosh. Look at the place. What? It's spotless. You clean it up for me. Well, you're not the maid. You were what's so wonderful. Listen, I'm just going to look at the kids real quick. Okay. I think I'm having sex. Good old sex. I'm going to do the new stuff. Hi, honey. What? Why do the smell like ice spice? What? Your father's here sucking the youth out of their heads again. Your brother's there here too. You found this fruit loop on Matthew's chin. You're going to tell me what happened here? Or do I have to call your parents? No, please, don't call the parents. I put them to sleep. My mother came over. Then when I went over with Leo. What? You left the kids with your mum? No, my dad, father and brother were here too. What? I got rid of them? Now I, then I did some cleaning. You noticed the cleaning down here? Done down there? Why did they have to be here? What was so important that you had to go out for? Pizza. Did you see the mess? We should have seen it. We should have seen it. They woke up the kids up. What? The pizza wasn't even good. You told me that you were going to stay and watch the kids. I know, but, but what, Ray? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. Your folks are not going over on Sunday. This is my, this is my birthday. I should be allowed one day of peace without them. You know what? I want you to call them and tell them that, it's, that that's what we want. You need to get the message that we will have our own lives and we're tight on little privacy. You're right. You're absolutely right. So you're going to tell them? I can't do that. Where's the hold they have over you? I'm just asking, asking you, asking you for me. Please, can we celebrate my birthday alone? I can't invite them. 
You can't? Then maybe I won't be there. No, stop it. Don't sleep on the couch. Don't sleep on the couch. I just clean down there. Raymond, come in, honey. Hi, Mum. If I was working, your father's out buying those bowls for your toilet. So I got the whole house to itself. Is, is that my large fault? Yeah, it is. That's why I came by here. I want to return this. I don't want to say anything, but it happens to be a very good folk. I know. That's why it took so long. I love it. Listen, Ma, I want to talk to you about my brother's birthday. My God. Took up birthdays. Your birthday gift to me funny came this morning. Do you know you sent me a box of pears? Yeah. From a place called Fruit of the Month. That's right. How are they? Very, very nice pears. But there were so many of them. There were a dozen pears. What are you supposed to do with those all these pears? I think they're supposed to eat them. Myself, you, you, Dan, and Robert. How many pears can Robert eat? I appreciate the fault. But please don't ever send us more fruit again. Thanks. Another box is coming next month. What? More pears? No, it's a different fruit every month. Every month? Yes, they call it. That's why it's called Fruit of the Month Club. It's a club? Oh my God. What do you do with this, all this fruit? But if you like it, Ma, you share it with your friends. Which friends? I don't know. Lee and Stan? Lee and Stan buy their own fruit. Give it to Why did you do this to me? My God, I can't talk. There's so much fruit in the house. What's happening? I'm sorry, Ma. Hi, Marie. Do you know that the fruit keeps coming month after month? You've got it's in some kind of cult. Not a cult, it's a club. What do you mean month after month? For how long? That a year? My God. Are you out of your mind? Sorry, I'm sorry, Dad. What do you think? Well, oh, in the ambulance? We can't go out and get our own fruit? I tried to tell him. All right, I'm cancelling the fruit club. Oh, good. Thank you, Raymond. And don't do that again. Like, we don't have enough problems. Listen, I've got to talk about the party. The party? Yes, I'm thinking. There isn't going to be a party. Who's dead? No, he's dead, Dad. We're gonna not going to have a party. You have to go for a party and bait. I've never heard of such a thing. We're not having a party because I'm surprising Deborah. Take them to Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain, that's right. I want to just do something special for her. This is a surprise. She can't go telling her anything. Thank you so very much. I'm going on, going to go. Wait, just a minute now. Here, it's a long trip to Bear Mountain. Take fruit. Okay, thanks. Raymond gets the pears too. They all went down for a nap. This is over the top. It's the best party birthday I've ever had. What are you doing? Letting in the light. It's still your birthday, though. We want to have a nice, cosy birthday. Isn't that cosy? I know what you're up to. You do? Yeah, look, come here. Yeah, this is what, uh, that's what I'm up to. I oh, this it only happened on my birthday, Ray. So glad you set your parents straight. Does it feel good, to be honest with them? Feel, it does feel good. Not as good as this, though. You are 100% right. I don't know what I was afraid of. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? We well, live here. We thought you were in Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain? Who told you that? Raymond. You want to host the weapon, Rob? Okay, I lied. I tried to uh, lie to everybody. I was trying to make everybody happy. Nice job. I would. I should have known better. Why did you special? Why did especially with my parents? If you treat a box of fruit like a plutonium, I took it out. I made a mistake. All oh, right, good. Look, Trivia Deborah wanted us to have a day to ourselves. Me too. But Deborah is the one. She's got a very hard work. It got it very hard around here. Though she never said that to me. I noticed it like Dad. I know you try to be funny, but, but Luke, but like the twins, maybe they should, you shouldn't say, I think, like little Matthew, I was homosexual, to ten, ten, homosexual tendencies. And Ma, you shouldn't be so critical. If you're going to be critical, could you please call Boy before he comes so we can be ready for it? Both of you, could you both call? We have to prepare. These bills of receipts we hide, then we chant a little. Now listen, we love you both, but this is our house, and Deborah's my wife. You can't set that. I'm telling you, you can't come over here anymore. Unless you call first, that is. I think well, I did it all. That, what? Nothing to do with me, Robert. Could you try not to eat near the kids? I just wanted a day to myself. All you had to do is say no. We understand. Of course we understand. What's well, not understand? When... When did he get so sensitive he's a writer? Happy birthday, I'm shaking. Honey, you're just great. Come here. Maybe you should put on that brassiere. Brassiere. Bras- bras- what are you doing? I try again on my birthday. Look at uh, look at you, boy. Oh, boy, he's pretty cool, huh? 
Ah, oh, yeah, they are. You know, I hope they stay cute. What? I've been thinking, well, it's danger. that's the danger of identical twins. They're cute now because they're babies. But when they become adults, even if they're slightly ugly, they're going to be magnified. Because you're going to see one slightly ugly man walk across the room. They're not, that's no big deal. But you see the same ugliness right behind him. Yeah. Oh, you're going to notice. You're going to go, hey, I don't know. He was ugly until I saw it again.